that every need should be supplied. Somebody say amen. amen. And when you have this, your need, which is because needs are opinions, things are our opinions around. Am I correct, church? When, when they tell you you don't have money, that's what? That's an opinion. Am I correct? When they say you are you broke, that's what? An opinion. That's an, somebody's opinion. Am I correct? When they say, now, they tell you to give you all these opinions about me. When they say you are emotionally broken, it's what? It's somebody's opinion. And now Paul came and said by the Holy Ghost, he said, listen, he says that, that the divine opinion is that your need has a supply. So the same thing. And my place now, I'm in between two opinions. The divine opinion and the human opinion. So the glory of God is when I begin to exalt the divine opinion about what? I both my human opinion. Say this. Yes. Say this sickness. This is I don't know what are you going through. Amen. He said, This sickness is not unto death. Is this but for the glory of God? Not when it's sad. The glory of God. He changed the whole thing. Because the glory of God will be either to heal Lazarus or to what? Or to raise up Lazarus. We'll say amen. amen. Because there is no glory of God in be sick. There's no what? There's no glory of God in being poor. So when he said this, and he spiritually changed the whole, the whole thing, the whole thing. This thing is not unto, it is for the glory. So when he said this for the glory, you change the circumstance. He changed the same. In Isaiah 60, it was, When he said, arise! I'm going to show you something here now. Tell Amos. When he said, arise! He didn't say, arise and shine. Because if God said, arise and shine, there were two different things happening at different times. He said, arise, shine. It means that both the rising and the shining are happening now. Arise from what? Arise from the places where human opinions have thrown you into. You can't get married. You can't prosper. You can't do well. You can't. You can't have that. You can't be a good student. You can't be. I mean, you can't. You can't. You can't. I mean, they painted your life with. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. I mean, human opinions can be dangerous and 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 catastrophic. So I'm saying that. And oftentimes, when this thing enters your mind, and you start feeling dejected and 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 rejected and and. And, uh, and I bumped on, then you feel it so far up because somebody say, you're not beautiful. Oh, well, that's just the opinion. Amen. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Amen. Yeah. If you tell a sculptor that the sculpture is not fine, and, and that's your yeah. that's opinion to him, it's a masterpiece. Yeah. Somebody shout amen. Yeah. Tells you, oh, this is incurable and devastating and and tack tack tummy. Oh, tack tack. You know, Titus. Amen. That's just human opinion read right from the books of message. But when you go into the book of gospel, it tells you, but he strikes you where he Get up your hands!